Hello, it's Sarah. And tonight I have this little door that I wanted to share with you guys. I had seen a video by Bona, who is Live Love Scrap. And she has, I think, every, of the, every one of these paper doll stamps and has taken classes with Julie Nutting and everything. And this was actually one of the projects that she shared. And she had done it on one of those wooden doors that they sell at Michael's. I'm going to see if I can get this. Um, and I loved it. And I thought that I have to do that. I have to try that. It's the cutest thing ever. So, um, I don't know. She had done hers for her, um, mom and put their name on the door and stuff like that. Uh, and then I'd seen another one by, uh, Miss D. D's special things. And I just had to do it. So anyway, um, I did crackle my door it didn't turn out excellent but I don't hate it um, because we have a wooden door um, and then Dee had used these cool filigrees for her um, door as well to kind of give it like a hinge look and I like that a lot so I just dug through my stash and found some I actually cut these in half I cut one in half and uh, cut another one in half um, I, so I just painted the door like a light brown here. It's called territorial beige. And then I used, um, it's called antiquing medium. And so it's just a bit browner. Um, some of the places crackled better than others. I used, this is a Mementa metal piece that I just put my, um, of course I love my Inca gold. My, so I rubbed that on all the metal piece. I had this 10. I'm not sure if that's a um, arty cake piece, but uh, I just thought it was cool because it it was like a number, and doors usually have numbers. That's not my house number, but um, and then I got this is the new boy doll and the new doggy, so I had to put them on there. And I mean, I guess this is kind of representative of me and Joe, but much younger <laughs> when Joe had hair. I did use the expression stamps the new julie nutting um expression stamps i think i used the first one for her and i like it i think it's pretty cool um and i just drew on his expression which you know it is what it is it's cute but you know it's definitely these were definitely too girly all of them were just the lips and everything were just way too girly um so, and I also watercolored those. I didn't use the watercolor paper, but I do have the new um, Julie Nutting um, watercolor tag pad. But I will, I'll do something different with that. Um, but I did do watercolor. I'm just enjoying the watercoloring. So I did that. Um, I think Bona had a piece of fence on hers as well. So I used this fence, and I've had it in my stash for a long time, but this is actually already pre-made, and it's like, uh, has wire in between, so it's bendable, <clears throat> and I cut it with my, um, sorry, I'm, I'm definitely congested. I think Liam gave me a little cold, but that's okay. Um, I just cut it with these, uh, my wire cutters is what I'm trying to say. And I just, I bent it around. And I mean, I know it's kind of weird that there wouldn't be a fence on the door, but it's kind of just to kind of, it's supposed to, I popped it up a little bit. I popped him up and the dog up. So the girl is in the background, but, and I popped the fence up too. So, I mean, it's just supposed to kind of look like it's in the forefront a little bit. I mean, that's kind of what I was going for. And then I put these flowers and some more of the, um, I think it's May something. Oh man, I wish I wasn't so brain. May Arts, May Arts ribbon that uh, Mary Allen had given me. I just kind of put that over under the fence part and put a few little flowers on there to kind of, you know, just, just jazz it up a little bit. Because a door is a door, you know, it's kind of plain. So, and then of course I just stamped out a couple of yellow butterflies um, and I put... Uh, what is this stuff? Dimensional Magic and a little bling on each of them. And I made this little uh, home sweet home sign. I don't know if I, I think I do like it. 
I think it's cute. I just used like some gold paper for the background and um, tied a piece of like uh, twine. So that's it. And I think I'm going to just glue a hanger on the back with some E6000 and it's a little hanging. I, I think it turned out cool. I think you could probably do this on a tag just as easily. I think the tags are just a bit I think you could fit both of them on there if you overlap them like how I did. Um, I think it's adorable. I'm glad she made a boy and I think she needs boy faces. <laughs> the little doggy is adorable. I have Kirby is very similar size but um, I never put her in clothes because the stamp set comes with like a little jacket and a little hat but I never put her in clothes or um, so I, that wasn't realistic to my doggy so and then I just covered it with paper on the back just to make it get it give it oh I also of course went around all the edges with my gold um, is it gold Inca gold yeah my Inca gold gold color um, I don't know I just I just really wanted to jazz it up a little bit and I you know me I can't stop uh, embellishing once I start so I don't know if you can see the whole thing in the shot I'll lay it down again so that's it all right I just wanted to share that and I have I have been gathering I will show you what I'm gathering I am sniffly sorry I'm going to be doing a mermaid I I think I'm going to use my gelatos for the background. I have some of these flowers. I pulled some of these flowers. I think I might use these. I bought this today, which I thought was really cool. And it has netting. And it has like some sequin. I just really like that. I'll probably put some of that around it. I have... Of course, the sequins, um, some jute and charms. So I can't wait to get started on this. So I'll be back with that. And as always, you guys, thanks for watching.